Hello, I'm going to make a track from scratch on the Analog 4 and uh, I'll just get started right away with a lead, ARP and bass sound. So uh, first the ARP sound on track 1. I think this is a nice sound to start with. And then find a lead sound. This one. And a bass sound. Let's start with this one. So we have three sounds. And uh, the next thing I want to do before I even start making melodies is uh, to set the effects, the delay and reverb. Uh, I want them to be really long. So let's go to track 1 and set the delay to, yeah, it's already at 90. And let's uh, increase the delay by a lot. But we also want the delay to be a bit softer and not ring out for too long, even if we, if we have a lot of feedback. So a bit of overdrive and a lot of feedback and also filter out most of the delay. And we also want, uh, want it to sound wider, so I'll set the an LFO to the width, which is basically the uh, I have the ping pong pong enabled so that the sound will always bounce between left and right. And if we set the LFO to width, then it'll adjust the left and right motion all the time. And we also want to increase the reverb length and cut all the low end so it doesn't get all that muddy on the bass sounds and kicks. So let's save the kit and make a melody. I usually like starting with the ARP because then I can uh, make a short repeating uh, loop and then uh, just play a melody on top of that loop and also change the chords or change the chord progression by just changing the bass note. So let's... Yeah, 
let's try these notes. Uh, tempo is gonna be 90.8. And then let's make the melody. I think it's gonna be just repeat these notes. Oh, that was too fast. Yeah, let's use these notes. Uh, and the length of this pattern is going to be 14 steps, but I want the track itself to be 64 steps long, or the pattern itself. So the master length is 64, but the pattern length is 14. And we'll end up with this. And if I turn on the click track, let's see. So the base, uh, base pattern is going to be 64 steps long. And uh, we want to set the scale to one half, I think, because it's going to be a, a long bass pattern. So let's just try this with the click track on and set the pre-roll to one bar. Okay, we need to set the length even shorter. So uh, set the scale to uh, one fourth instead of half. Clear the pattern and then re record. Hold on, let's see. Yeah, quantized. Okay, it's uh, this was the problem. Length is gonna be not 64, but 128, and then we can uh, use uh, scale, set the scale to one half, and let's re-record. Clear the track first, and record. Yeah, this one. 
So let's save the kitten pattern. some melodies on top. Let's try to record something, and I'll just save this, just in case I uh, lose some progress. same on this one. Set the scale to one half and length master length is 128. Then just record something. I'll just try something first. Oops, forgot to set the length to 64. Let's try again. I think this is okay. Oh yeah, that's uh, we forgot to set the length to or scale to one half. So let's uh, re-record this. Clear the track. Save kitten pattern and re-record.
let's make some drums. Let's try this one, remove some of the noise. I think this is okay, let's try this. And we need the drums to be a lot louder than everything else, so max volume and max track level. Yeah, I like this one. some snares. So uh, I'll save this sound, the kick sound, as a, uh, I'll save it to the sound pool. So yes and sound, go to the pool and save it on the first one. And then I will lock, whoops, I'll lock these to the uh, kick sound. And that means that I now can replace this one with a snare, the track 4. At this point I think I want to just balance the sounds a bit, so I'll turn everything down except the drums because I want these them to be the loudest, and then slowly fade everything in.
which is fine. And uh, I'll, I want to add some reverb tail to these snares or uh, some uh, actual uh, amp sustain uh, or a sustain and release on the amp. I think maybe I can use the envelope to also add some, maybe try some distortion. No, it doesn't work. Uh, so let's just, I'll uh, use this, this sound. And the uh, next step is to add some hi-hats. So I'll save this sound as, let's see, save the sound to the sound pool. And then lock them to the snare sound, the, the snare tricks. Yeah, let's add some hi-hats. The hi-hats are a bit loud, so let's turn them down. I think we can add some uh, add some uh, 
extra hi-hats inside these hi-hats with an LFO. Yeah, I think this should work. So uh, the last hi-hat can have a really long uh, release and slightly higher sustain. And the next thing we can do is start setting up the performance macros. And it's really helpful to name them, so I'll just name... Uh, I also usually have uh, ARPs on this knob, leads on this one, bass on this one, and drums on this one. So they're like a little square of knobs that I use all the time. And I'm not sure I'm going to be using the uh, quick performance knob, because I haven't really tried it yet. But maybe I can try it on this one. So let's name this one ARP, and then name this one lead. And down here we have uh, F and G. They're gonna be bass. And drums. And then save kit and pattern. And let's change the ARP. So we can set the we can change the uh, performance knob amount with the volume knob or level data knob. So that means we can just try things as we go. So first thing I want is to increase the filter uh, filter cutoff. And increase the oscillator to volume or two level. And maybe... Hmm. I was expecting this sound to be a bit brighter. more like it. And maybe we can also increase the overdrive.
Yeah, let's try this at first. I'm not completely sure I like it, but we have to uh, hear what it sounds like with the rest of them. So I'll set change the lead sound. And it's going to be a lot of the same things. We're going to have uh, filter frequency or cutoff. Let's try this. So let's save it. And then let's uh, change the drums. Or the bass first, maybe. Track 3. And uh, as with the other ones, we're gonna have a uh, filter cutoff. And I think maybe there's a bit too much resonance, so let's lower this. Oscillator 2 level. And overdrive, let's see. Yeah, let's increase overdrive. Last one is going to be used to lower the volume. a bit of vibrato. We can try the quick performance, so... Uh, whoops, let's see... One, two, and... Uh, six. I'm turning down the bass a bit, because... Uh, 
I want to add another saw-shaped LFO on the base. And it doesn't look like this LFO is used for anything, so let's change the shape to saw, mode to trig, speed to 32, and multiplier to 64. And turn up the performance knob. And we'll also change the volume. So the LFO will change both the frequency, cutoff, and volume. So it'll sound like this. Oh yeah, um, yeah, this might be difficult. Yeah, because I want the performance knob to control. Yeah, actually, I can set them to set these on a separate macro knob. So I'll rename H to be base LFO. And then go to track 3 and set, I think it's LFO 1, depth A and depth B. change the drums. So this is going to be track 4. And as usual we're going to try uh, filter cutoff. And overdrive. And we're also going to try amp decay to make everything a bit longer. Let's also try uh, resonance. Resonance didn't work, maybe filter 2 resonance. Or maybe oscillator 2 level. I'm not sure what to add here, maybe we could try Maybe envelope depth, filter 1 and 2 envelope depth. Or maybe filter 1 envelope depth. I 
doesn't work. So let's just use these and uh, see what it sounds like. There has to be a way to make the drums more intense. Yeah, maybe this works. Yeah, I think I really like the uh, quick performance knob. And uh, there's one more effect I like to use, and that is increase the uh, delay and reverb length, and also increase the uh, the amount of delay and reverb added to all the tracks. So let's uh, change the name of C and D to delay. And just call it delay two. And delay is going to be on the effects track and it's going to change the low pass filter i think let's try this yeah change the low pass and high pass
and also change the resonance. Let's see. In fix track, change the resonance or reverb decay time. Yeah, that's another effect I like, and that is, let's put it on track or uh, knob E, and that's to basically cut everything off with the second filter. And so filter to frequency. filter to frequency on oops let's see so basically we cut everything off with a uh, Low pass, high pass, high pass filter. Yeah, probably. I don't think it works for drums, but yeah, we can change the. Let's see. We can, for track 4, instead of uh, the filter, we can change the amp decay time. Because this will basically cut everything off by just making it super short. And also probably the amp release there we go Yeah, so let's try this. didn't work exactly how I wanted, but close enough.
Yeah, I think I'm going to stop here.